If you're into nature, you might have seen the Open University's iSpot website, where tens of thousands share the things they've seen and then help each other identify it. Now you can take all this into the field with you much more easily and efficiently with the iSpot Android app. You can browse the latest observations. If you're interested in one particular group, you can easily filter out the others and focus on just that. Tap any observation and you'll be able to check out other photos and you'll see a map showing where it was spotted. Maybe someone has suggested an identification for this observation. If so, you can tap on it and see how certain this identification is. There also might be a list of who agrees with the identification that's been suggested. Tap on a username to have a look at their profile, including their observations, and also their reputation. How good are they at identifying within the different nature groups? Looking at what someone else has seen is all very well, but what about when you're out and about and want to add your own observations? Tap the iSpot logo and from the side menu, tap Add Observations. From here, you can select one or more pictures to upload, either straight from your phone's camera or from any existing pictures on your smartphone. In the Location tab, the GPS in your phone will pinpoint where you are on the map. You can adjust this position manually if required, simply by dragging the marker. On the Details tab, add as much information as you can. This will help others in identifying what you've seen. On the Identification tab, select the nature group this observation belongs to. There we go. I'm certain I've seen some sort of reptile here. We could just upload this observation right now. But if you've got some idea what you've seen, why not have a go and get iSpot to fill in the scientific name for you? If the name is right, when other users agree, you'll earn reputation points. You can also indicate just how sure you are, or not. And finally, tap the upload icon. Check your profile and observations later to see if anyone has provided a name for whatever you've spotted. Over 95% of iSpot observations get a name, half of them in less than an hour. In the meantime, you can check out the Around Here feature. Like the name suggests, this shows you what other users have seen near your location. Home in on an observation and you can check out what that user saw. So, has anyone been able to help me identify that reptile? Great! A fellow iSpot user has provided me with a name. Next time I see it, I can ID it myself and earn some iSpot reputation points.